We're at Musselroe Wind Farm, which is a large wind farm that generates a lot of power for Tasmania, and it also houses a large number of wombats. There's so much we don't know about wombats. They seem quite solitary and quite secretive, um, but they have quite interesting lives that involve interactions with one another and moving between burrows. They're just cute, cuddly balls of fur, really. Sarcoptic mange is a disease that's caused by a tiny parasitic mite that burrows into the skin of the animal. Uh, it affects over 100 species around the world, and in humans it's called scabies. Wombats suffer the worst form of mange disease, which we call crusted mange, where their immune response to it basically causes them to go through a very slow, painful suffering uh, decline until they usually die of a bacterial infection from the environment. So we have records that date back over 100 years of this disease being introduced. And so, because it's not a native disease that naturally occurs in our wildlife, we think we have some responsibility to try and find ways to help them with their suffering. We were really fortunate to land some significant funding to support this work a year ago, with one of the partner organisations on that being Hydro Tasmania. We've been trialling a drug called Fluorolana. Uh, we've done clinical trials, so with captive wombats, um, to make sure that it's a safe drug that works against mange in wombats. Um, and we're now taking it into the sort of field trial stages where we're capturing wombats in the wild, treating them for mange, um, and then we're going to follow their response and hopefully see how they improve following treatment. Wombats, that's such a challenge to catch. <laughs> A fully grown adult wombat can run up to about 40 kilometres an hour and that's a little bit faster than Usain Bolt so that makes them particularly challenging for us biologists to try and catch. After we've caught a wombat we anaesthetise them as quickly as possible and then when they're fully asleep we essentially start our sampling protocol, which involves taking various samples from skin swabs to look at the, the bacterial communities in the skin of the wombats. We take a blood sample uh, that will enable us to look at uh, some immune features of mange in wombats. We think that what happens is that a wombat uses a burrow for between four and ten days, then switches often to another burrow where it sleeps in. And another wombat can come and sleep in that burrow that it was. And if it has mange, then it probably leaves some mites in the bedding chamber of that burrow. And that other new wombat that comes in can get receive the mites that way. If the animal has mange, then we'll treat them with Florilana, and then we pop them in a safe place where they can recover, so like a large pet carrier with some towels and blankets. Um, and then we reverse the anaesthetic agent, leave them in that quiet spot for a few hours and then when they're fully awake we come back uh, and release them. Floralana it represents a massive improvement in terms of our ability to treat mange because it works very rapidly so we think that it, it should kill all the mites in the wombat within a matter of days and then it also protects the wombats from reinfection with mites for up to three months so if we can pr protect the wombat from reinfection for that period of time then we can stop, stop the transmission cycle. It's been really fantastic to have Hydro Tasmania come on board with this project and be a partner, partly through access to the site and the support that's happened that way. And Hydro originally contacted us because they had some concerns about seeing wombats on their land with mange, and they also wanted some ways to sort of deal with those sorts of issues for their, I guess, collective community responsibility. So it's been a real pleasure to work with Hydro.